Build it and they will come. An incredibly unrealistic phrase that many developers have followed, normally ending in disaster. Developers who want to build a side project outside their job, maybe to earn some extra income, are acutely aware of how important it is to pick the right idea so they don't waste weeks coding software that nobody's ever going to use. So then the conundrum is, how do you know whether your idea is any good? I faced the same question last year when I was thinking about building a YouTube productivity tool, but I was just a developer sat in his bedroom, not knowing if there was anyone else in the world that would want to buy this thing. The traditional business approach is to hire a team of Impa Lumpers and get them sending out questionnaires and making calls to a particular demographic to figure out what kind of problems they're having. Market research. The problem for most developers is that they don't have a team of Oompa Loompas, or in a more modern sense, they don't know how to conduct this research on the internet. If you asked ChatGPT, it would probably recommend things like trawling through Reddit forums, reading product reviews, or even cold calling local business owners. But I feel like these kind of approaches are a bit of a turn-off for working professionals, and there's a lot better approach that not only is going to solve the market research problem, it's going to solve the problem with what to do with your software project once you've built it. If you were to ask any business graduate what were the three main steps to building and selling a product, I reckon they'd say market research, product development, and then marketing. Now, I'm not going to pretend to be any kind of business guru, but I have launched a few products that flopped and also some products that earned tens of thousands of dollars. And if I was to pin down one of the major success factors, it would be having some kind of reach into the market research and some kind of reach into the marketing. The marketing being, how are you gonna get your software product in the hands of the people that need it once you've built it? Build it and they will come, my friend, isn't gonna cut it. The traditional marketing methods might be running ads, getting influencers to talk about your product, or SEO. All of that sounds kind of expensive, kind of slow, kind of boring. So if you're a developer who doesn't want to become a business boffin, you want to spend most of your time building or talking about the product, then there's one other approach that most developers don't even realize is an option. And this isn't just something I'm doing myself, it's something that's been proven to work time and time again by the indie hackers. What is it? It's building an audience. Now stick with me here, I'm not talking about becoming an influencer or creating trashy entertainment content. I'm talking about doing what Peter Levels and Mark Liu and so many other indie hackers are doing, which is to document your journey online. And when you do that by showing people what you're working on, what problems you're facing and how you're overcoming them, other developers who are interested in that are naturally gonna follow along. And that's exactly what I'm doing here on my YouTube channel that's already got me to 36,000 subscribers. Okay, let's assume building an audience is a good idea, but how does that fix the problem of market research and marketing? Well, like I said a minute ago, market research is just finding out what problems people are having so you can build a solution to it. And if you've got people watching your content, for example, YouTube videos, people are naturally gonna talk about some of the challenges they're facing in the comments. Not only that, but you can take some of these conversations out of YouTube for more in-depth discussions to figure out how you can really help these people. Then that's where you can do your thing as a developer and build a solution to that problem. And now we're on the other side, marketing, which is kind of already solved because we've already been talking to the people that had the problem that we built the solution to. This is exactly how Peter Levels managed to market his Nomad List website. Mark Liu managed to market his Shipfast website. And it's how I'm marketing my business that helps developers build a personal brand on YouTube. So while building your software project and scratching your own itch might work out, the chances are pretty slim, and in my experience with just a little bit of market research and marketing, you can give your project way more chance of success. Now, if you think this makes sense and you want help to start building your own audience, then I recommend watching my free course that's gonna show you step-by-step step how to publish your first YouTube video as a developer. I'm really looking forward to seeing how your solo project goes. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.